Als je langs familielid of soos het, geen net so'n stuile drukkie en verwelkom hulle vanavond. Als het jou man of vrou is, geen extra drukkie. Ja, ek ook nie maar ek. Oké, maar as jy die ook sê, kijk my. Ek ook nie zo keer vraag. Ja, sê, dit is die eerste keer, the first time in basically 32 years that we have our service this time of the night. Since I can remember. And, um, Normally, except for last year, which we did not have a service, as we had lockdown, we had a pre-recorded service. Uh, and um, so apart from that, this year is the first time ever that we have a service so early. Thank you, and sorry for the changes of time. Ja, maar vir die tyd wat ons moes verander, ons was ons seker oor die regulaties, en ons moes een call maak, because so many people also have to travel. And, uh, you know, this morning I saw the news late last night, they took the curfew away. <laughs> so then we decided we're not going to change it again. But the video is like I said, this reason for not elf in the army, young, but I said, well, there's something kept you young cat. So what they were actually is, and you can look at me some in the past for your clothes, and young, I'm saying, I need it to break. So I have a problem, and we're going to open with prayer. We're going to open with the bed for now. And I was promised you how good you are, and I said, I'm going to be a good thing. So then, I'm going to say hello for a hello, and then we're going to pray. And we're going to invite the worship team to follow us along. Hello, bro. Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. In een moment. Niemand is er. Iemand dat gisteren vier jaren behaald is, die opa. Ik geloof dat het zo ook nu is. Ik kan ook zo rooi. Zo kom eens gaan voor ons gaan lekker zeggen vier jaren. Kan dan gaan ons lekker worshipen. Hier gaan ons één, twee, drie. Wie ons gelijk liefst hier van, omdat jij vier jaar mag die reis zien en op vier jaar. And we also want to welcome our guests online. We've got some friends from the US and also from the UK and Australia watching, and also some friends from uh, Namibia and all over Southern Africa. And, and uh, welcome so much, and uh, good to have you with us. Thank you for tuning in. So, thank you, Yafi, and his fun. Is it not good? No, no, no. So, Father, I thank you for the Khalid. We honor you, God. For the opportunity we have to gather in your house. Ons dankie, Heere, vir die geleentheid wat ons het in die huis te wees. Dankie dat u ons toekomst in die handen vasthoud. Dat waarlijk, soos besal om 100 meter en derig vers 16 sê, dat u elke van my daal staan opgeskryf in die boek voor een van hulle tot staan gekom. And every one of our days are written and recorded in your book before one of them came to be. Our days are recorded. Your purposes and plans are fixed. And God, we honor you. And as we gather, that you also strengthen our hearts in this coming year. Your word says, as we hear, so we must buy you from the And as we worship God, we honor you for this coming year, this coming season. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I, hello, I'm all the planet. Zero, I could be last if you're some of the corner here at Tona. So I need a beer one to say, but not for like a word. We're not for not much to get a mark with musical chairs. We're going to be more of a song that you see offset. And as you sing me as you're out in the hot day, I'm putting it on the bench and I'll start here. Zero, I'm all the planet. And all I see is a mountain 
<laughs> if there's someone with a specific word that they felt from the Lord for this coming year, specific word, that they all have heart to have, that they feel the Holy Spirit drift to this year on your way to be moved. As so someone is going to be able to get the word before we dive in what I feel God is saying. Come on in. Thank you, God. <laughs> Ons baie keer, ek sê nie in die verlede hoe die woord nagelaat, maar jy gaan sien in een baie spesifieke manier vir die jaar 2022 die rol wat die woord van die Heere gaan speel in jou en my leven en die salving wat sal my gaan, soos wat ons dit gebruik. So, ook die jaar 2022, as ek so bykie daar aan denk, um, ek voel die Heere sê, hy nie baie knaak, hy is so hard te sê, sê die salving, ek sê het nog daar, dit is nie wat verder van, nie, nie, in die jaar 2022, as ek die Heere vraag, voel ek die huis van die Heere gaan een plek wees van dubbelseen. So as jy nog nie die dubbelseen van die Heere ervaar, en voel ek die jaar 2022 gaan een plek wees van dubbelseen binnen die huis van die Heere. Hoewel die ekonomiese wereld daar buiten ons die liefde gaan skip, op en af gaan wees, die ou wat sy vertrouwe in die ekonomie of die finans in die hele wereld, gaan sy volgende jaar gaan nog geskok kry, daar gaan nog een dubbel vloek wees op dit, maar daar gaan definitief een dubbel seen wees in die huis van die heren, so die veilige plek daar gaan wees en wees vir die tyd wat kom. Ook die salving van die heren sal die heer spreek in 2022, ons gaan sien hoe die vloedhekke van die hemel ook gaan maak gaan word in 2022, vir die ouwens wat dit gaan beleef in 2022. Ok, so sluit kan dit aan, nee, nie te kennen. Dan, kom, sluit ook, ons die baie tijd is hier nie lang, maar haak af nie. Ah, nie boor, ehm, just apologies for this, I've got a bit of a leg, allergic reaction on my neck, so for your sake and mine, I'm just hiding away. <laughs> um, just quickly, what I've been, I've been waiting on the Lord in my heart, for my life, and for my family, and what God has really been placing in my heart for the next season is, and I feel this for somebody else as well, is don't let go of your hope. Don't let go of that which activates your faith 
to receive what God has for you in the next season. And it's as if 2021 has really knocked you by the knees or flattened your batteries or gave you the little structure. But God is restoring hope and wants you to go into this new season, into this new year with a restored hope so that you can activate faith to receive what he's got for you in the next season. Ek kry nie die bode moet nie stres nie, al sy keer op nie. Amen. Sê my broer. Ek kry nie die bode moet nie stres nie, al sy keer op nie. Amen. Kijk, sê my broer, moet nie stres nie. Moet nie stres nie, die heren sê my broer. Good evening everyone, praise God. Um, the word that I already received is, this year will be a year of His perfect love. And all of those who are fearful of this year, you will experience His perfect love. You will drive out all fear that you might have. What's that the Hey, there's a very honest thing. Perfect love is the drive of the fear. And we'll divide the fear of the fear of the fear of the Ons gaan kijk gaan naar kort video clip wat ik believe captures in essence, I believe waar all our excitement and passion for the coming year. En als jij dat voor ons opzet, dan neem ik het daar right into the word. Maar als we het in die woord zijn, gaan we kijken. Ja, dat is echt lekker. How many of you guys have felt that way? Let me just get it over now. It feels like there's more here than your salary. The year come with the clown. He must say now that I think it is the day of the cash. I say, yeah, I've got enough money for the for the month for the rest of the year. I've got only six days left. I can make it. Often times when the day you take from the year come, when it is all about good things. Allemaal in die badkamers kan gaan uithalen en gauw om te klimmen te denken, hier in januari. Ik zeg die jou, Petronikie, jou daar is geteld, bekken. I'm giving you notice, ek gaan uit gym diep. Ek ben jy dat al laie gemaakt. 
We all have many resolutions and many ideas. But you know, when it comes to especially this time of the year, I believe that God has purpose declared for you. Uh, I believe krachtige a fashion you begin in the book of Prediker, Ecclesiastics, chapter 3, verse 1. And it says these powerful words. Uh, also, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. There is a time for all and there is a for every activity under the heaven. You know that God is doing something specific today and in this coming season. God will do something special in your life and every one of us lives so in this time. I would have never thought last year standing here that I would have to say goodbye to my dad in this year. But let me tell you one thing I learned from God. Is that from the Jere geleerd is that he's a eeuwigdierende vertrooster. He's a true comforter in times of darkness and doubt, in times of pain and bar, and daar van donkerte is die Jere a ware vertrooster. And I didn't understand last year even in our uh, not gathering in our pre-recorded video, we gave a specific word saying that we will see the Lord, ons al die Heere, ons bemoedige op a praktische wijze beleef. And let me tell you, we have, and uh, one of the visions that was seen was of an open grave, op graf. We have had more funerals this year than what we have had in the last 10 years combined. Not because of COVID. Shocking. But one thing I can attest to is this is God is our Amen. Amen. Even in times of great sorrow, the Lord stays the same. If you can open your Bibles with me to the book of John, you can hear a Bible psalm at Mark Bay, the book from Johannes chapter 12. And I believe even as we gather tonight that the Holy Spirit wants to comfort your heart, give you hope. Many people have lost her. By me, say it worked for Lua. But as long as we start to grow and know God, so as we grow in the Lord more and more, I'm reminded of the story of two hunters that goes to the Alaskan outback on Alaska, and they each shoot a giant elk. They sit down in the middle of and they have to actually carry and, and move these animals to the spot where the helicopter will fly. And as they arrived there, the helicopter pilot landed. Of the vliegtuig heeft geland, the helicopter the vliegtuig heeft geland. And I take here two elk, so I say, "Ons gaan hier op een live vandaag niet. We can take one, and we're going to leave the other." And he gave the jachter some time and said, "Daar staat het niet zelf gezegd. Ons gaan zeggen, maar ons gaan vijf van de raad neer. En daar heb je aan je ook." Zeg maar. En dan zei for 500 rand meer die aanheer ook laat, sê, ok. So waar al hy in, en het net so in die koppel gekom, en toe wil hy vreemd in die pop neem, brrrr, as, tref in die grond. En hy is kier so, en toe is so ek, en die pilot sê, is allemaal raak. Toe sê die in die achter, ja, maar waar is ons, en toe sê hy so 500 meter, van waar ons laas geval. Die ander bom. Hy die ander, ons sê so 500 meter van waar. Now, as you know, next year, as you know, it's about you. We need to learn, amen? So we're going to read from the book of John, chapter 12. He's on. It's like my brother to hear. So, uh, sorry, John, chapter 14, verse 12. And it's a very well-known portion. It's a kind of out of John, chapter 14, and we're going to start from verse 12, and it says, Very truly, I tell you, Whoever believes in me, wie ook al in my glo, sal die werke doen wat ek gedoen het, en hy sal selfs groter werke as hierdie doen, want ek gaan na die Vader toe. Whoever believes in me, van die vertaal, ja? Anyone who has faith in me, hierdie vertaal, wat vertaal het sê, has faith in me, dis van whoever believes in me, will do the works that I have been doing, and even greater things than these, because I'm going to the Vader. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Verse 13 says, You may ask me anything, and I will do it. 
Verse 15 says, so, If you love me, keep my commands. Jesus sê hier krachtige woorde vir ons, en ek glo in, en terwyl ons in hierdie vroer in hierdie jaar, en my ma, as die profete op die Heere gewag geklop, was hierdie een van die kernverse, wat die Heere gesê het in ons komende jaar, vir ons as Christen, een baie belangrik is. I believe, you know, Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, You shall receive power, jylle sal kracht ontvang, so dra die heilige geest op, my, op jylle kom en jy sal my getuies, getuies wees in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, en die uiteindes van die aarde. Elke van ons wat hier so sit, het die uitnodiging van Jesus, om een leven te leven wat het verskil maak. To really live a life that makes a difference. Not just survive another year. Hoe kan jylle voel het hierdie jaar gesurvive? Kom ons vir ons goed in haar. Ons is die bokkies in die wild eindelijk. Die is so opkom voel hulle. Die hoor af hoe die hele bosveld so sig as die som opkom. Ek denk, ons het haar leeuw gesurveld. Ons het haar net per tyd per leer. Alla haar hielas. We survive. Some people say, our marriage survived. Ek laat dit hier. Thank God. <laughs> Some people may feel about business, or zelfs bezigheid, and it's net gemaakt. We van jullie voel, you, we survived our teenage days. <laughs> but I believe, ek geloof, die Heer het vir my en die geroep, en hy nooi ons uit, om een leven te leven, wat het een impact maak. To live a life that truly makes to live a life that truly makes a difference and you know when we look at Jesus' life we can all as Christians become more productive for the kingdom of God and I believe all of us can the verse from Matthias 6 verse 33 we all know the verse by heart of Matthew 6 verse 33 we can just not say not you, not you not you not you not you not you not Someone else. <laughs> Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So eerst die koninkryk van God en sy gerechtigheid en al hier die dinge sal jou bijgevoeg word. You are called of God. Jy sien jy hoef nie een pastor te wees of in die bediening te wees nie. As een gelovige is jy geroep dier die Heere om een verskil in jou omgevende geld te maak. And I want to encourage you to start trusting God to do extraordinary things. Jesus says in 14.12, John 14.12, he says these words. Anyone who believes. Lees het mooi. Johannes 14.12, terug is het dit jaar. I tell you, anyone who has faith in me, ask your neighbor. Vraag jou bierman, gloe jy en Jesus. Vraag, asjeblief. En geef my antwoord. Jesus says, you will do the same works that I have been doing. He sell it back. It's as good. You see, Jesus can wait for your dream, man. I remember many years ago, I was doing a house dissertation. I get it off the top. I get a house person to do it before he has to stop. I'm a heart full of a good say, Leister, can I get my car better? Can I get my car back? I can get my car back. As ons op een huis besoek en die broer is gered en sy vrou is nie, sy vrou is een hindu en een ander geloof. En ek dacht, ek ga nou nie een nuisance wees en toe ek stop, toe sê, kom ek maak die hek op een trek en sê, ach nou, it's ok, my brother will be fine. En ons is binnen en you know, we had a wonderful time. Want toe ek uitkom, is my kar weg. Die van ander al meer moorig as ek. En toe shop lift in my kar, die stel nou. As nie is ook nie kolie die waarde staan. Weg is die kraal. En daar is die ouwe begin, hy sê, ach nee, oh my god, oh my god, hy sê, don't worry, God will work this out, he will work it out to my good, he will work, en terwijl ons nog as daar, ek bel die politie in, net vijf minuten later bel, hy sê, ons het jou moeder gekryd, hy sê, pak vijf op tijd, hy het in die woord spoed, en hy is achter na, en hy bel, hy sê, ons is nou hier, ons is nou daar, en toe bel, hy sê, oops, nee, hy het nou koeie raak, en hy het nou kaart, 
En dan gaan we uit voor die bloesie staan staan en ik kom uit kaart toe, dat hy verander moet van woord te worden. En geen dag. Hier staan ek saam met die broer en sy vrou en sy heil snot in trane. En ek sê van, God moet woord is daar. Hier moet woord is daar. En a few weeks later, I was upgraded from the lesson set of your dear brother. Five cents. Eerst ek moet gaan naar die wereld plat gaan en raai gaan ook aan. Huh? Dat is allemaal lekker man. Lani, Lani karakters, Lani. So, and God really came and blessed us out of our socks. And the best thing was I didn't have to pay for it. God provided. En so is dit, as die Heere sy kracht in ons lewe, en ons hoop op hom is, die wat op my vertrouw sê, Jesus, sal hierdie goeders doen wat ek gedoe het. Nou, it's really hard to, to when you look at the words of Jesus. It's moeilik, as jy sien na die werke van Jesus. Hy vat iemand sy lunchbox en geef 5000 kost. Ek het al na my lunchbox gekyk, ek sê vir Christian, maar spuit my lunchbox, as ek klein. Hy moet vir 5000 kost geef. Ha? When the boat starts to sink, Jesus walks on the water. Maybe he has a storm to come out of the water. When the widow lost all hope and hears her son, who had passed. And a whole future, my hele toekomst, is in a toestand. Die van jy het al gevoel, Jere, ek sien nie a toekomst vir my nie. Kom Jesus. En hy vat dit aan die kus en die dooie staan. You know, when Jesus speaks about break the works, than him, it's something to look at. And God says, I want to show myself on your behalf, not because I couldn't do better, but I'm going to the Father, and I cross yellow, of the order, but my dog. I leave you, and, and too often when we speak about our, in our New Year services and so on, we are only looking at our lives, we need to look at the calling of Jesus Christ. Hy roep jou en my om in hierdie wereld een impact te maak. Die school en jou en nie to take our calling serious. Every child of God, elk een, is uitgenoeg. Jy skyp hoe dit moet werk. Lees in die volgende vers. Hoe gaan dit nou werk? And what, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Son may bring glory to the Father. And quickly think about what have you been praying for? What have you been praying for? God wants to do Gavin. I have been praying for you guys this afternoon. I had you in my heart and I felt that God said that the breakthrough that you have personally trusted him for is at your door. Do not get discouraged or disheartened because of the circumstances around you. But the Lord says, I'm opening windows of heaven over you and I am commanding a blessing upon you that you are not able to contain. And what has been delayed around your life, the Lord says, I am, I am hurrying up. I am hurrying up. It will be quickened upon your life. And I have a sense that the Lord is saying that the strain that you have had because of the circumstances you've been under, the Lord lifts it upon you. Would you please stand? I just want to speak this to you and pray with you tonight. I felt that the Lord said that he's releasing the strain that you have been walking under. Specifically. And I could look this for you, Freddie and Michelle. I had the same sense that God is releasing the strain that you've been under. I mean, you look for my son. I really feel tonight that it's a turning point also coming in, the, in your lives and in the season that you've been. And Father, I thank you that your word says, whatever we ask in your name, you will do. And in the name of Jesus, and in our van Jesus, dank ek u dat u die gebede hoor wat by die hierdie echtpare en dis afternoon as hy just also waited upon God, that's what I sense I actually sense that the two of you uh, the two couples, your two as couples you two, that God is going to break through extraordinarily for you dat God op een boonatierlijke manier gaan deerbreek because you've been trusting Him and maybe just speak that out where you are now standing in Jesus name, I receive it En dan kie jyre dat jyre sien, en Lord, that your eyes are upon your people for their good. And I thank you, God, for the extraordinary works you do. Kan ons amen sê samen vir die man? Amen. Thank you, God.
So when Jesus says these words, he's not a party for the living. In the word that the word that Jesus gebruikt for arbeid, the word out of work, literal, you will do the same works. You will do the same things. And I believe that we need to start praying much bolder prayers. You see, for God is sowing you and me. Hy saai ons in ons dorpe en gemeenskappe, bezighede, boerderijen, werken, so that you and I might become an encountering place for people with Jesus. Dat ek in die levens, mense se levens, sy aandag. Wat ek hier hier is, it starts with everyone, anyone who believes in you. It starts with our faith. And then it starts with prayer. And I have seen over the last few years, you know, at a stage with our intercession group, of it, starting with those intercession group, we had so little space. But over the last two to three years, I found people have not been really interceding and praying for one another. And I believe it's a primary call to the church. It's to pray. A primaire roep van die Heere, as ek en u, waardig sal bid in Jesus' naam. You and I, when we pray in the name of Jesus, we'll see extraordinary miracles. Extraordinary works of God. I remember I was ministering in a free state. Ek het in die free state bedien. And you know, we had such a powerful time in God's presence. En in a very specific boerderij gemeenskap in die bus free state, and um, the presence of the Lord was there. And give me this to spring her out open. I scripted so her dog is a devil that manifests here. I was struck from the name of Jesus. Now I didn't see the dark room is blind. And there was a crowd to see me. And I was so upset. I couldn't help it. I didn't know the name of Jesus. Stop your son. What's it? Hy bel my, door sy trinsbreek, dat hy sê, hy het een kombi vol blinde mense geokken na, en sê, my brief had dit om. Moet ek nie even los maak. Ek voel so slecht, but anyway, so right after the service, hy het op ons een Tuesday night, a gentleman, a ouwe my kom voor, en sê, paaste, wil jy nie saam met ons bid nie, as ons nie hierdie week heen krijg, met ons amper 2000 geest is mag, ons het nie kost vir hulle nie, there's no food. We were in a severe drought, right? Started as us in a geweldige droogte. And so, I said, Oom, come on, but some. We prayed. And that night, as I lay in bed, I heard the thunder rumbling. We felt that the only donor we had to wear on me. I heard the donor we had to wear on me. Thank you, Jere. The next day, we were so upgewoon that the whole day, the rarest of people, and the aunt, but the dienst, he said, Oom, but he said, Yo, thank you for the gebed. He said, You have the first gebed. Dit het hier op Markwaard gereem, maar niks met my huis. Hy sê, hier is my adres, kom ons bid vir hom. Hy sê, oom, ok. I'm game, if you're game, I'm game. So now we pray again. And that's not a Wednesday night. If by Friday there's no rain, they need to start culling off cattle. So we prayed. That night I heard no thunder. The next night at the service, the end was gone. So I thought, oh my goodness. We prayed for him in his absence. And then you know we expect the words. But Jesus says, whatever you pray for in my name, I will do. He doesn't just say it once, he says it twice. It's twice written in a word that he will bring glory to his Father through your prayers. Jou gebede in die naam van Jesus, Jesus sal die Vader vir jylle dien jou te hoor. You know, by, after the Sunday morning, that couple was there again. En nou, daar is ek al bang vir hulle, en ek sal geef, ek moet er net vir die service nie met hulle praat, en wat sê vir iemand wat 2000 beeste moet slak? So ek sê nie vir my my praat, wat dat en daar nog ons nie. Sal daar die tijd met jou praat, vir die nou, en ek sê, ja, wat jou sê? 
Ja, ich war so Leute in der Stadt. Die Uhr von sie ist ja nicht gewöhnt. Uns reicht nur auf die Biesen, da kann man gar nicht machen. Uns kriegt ihn nicht. Ich bleibe auf der Plaats, ich denke, es ist die 74 Jahre, dass ich auf der Plaats in meiner Familie bin. Uns sucht uns kriegt ihn nicht. Uns ist in der anderen Kant. Uns ist in der Zeit Kant. Uns kriegt ihn nicht. Sie ons, ek sê vir my steen, kom, ons vir die voorbij van gaan na die eerste kant boel toe, waaraan, dat is net niks. En hy rei op, en toe hy daar kom, toe staan die beeste, tot hy die pense toe die baan. Toe het op fontein oop gegaan. En daar is die dam op hy plaas, die staan die beeste, tot hy die pense toe die baan. Hy het oom heel soer. Hy vertel, Sê, hoe goed die jylle is. Hou my sy te doen. Jesus sê, as nou so beleef, hoe die kwijt hoog sê, man. Great hoogs in me. And whatever you ask the Father, hierdie jaar, moet die bang wees om God te vertrouw vir jou leven nie. Moet die bang wees om die Heere Jesus te vertrouw vir jou toekomst nie. You know, when you ask Him, He says, He will answer. And of course, we know that James 4 says, as jylle bid en jylle nie het, is het omdat jylle verkeerd bid, omdat jylle bid om op jylle self sichtig en lisse te spandeer. You know, I know I have to pray correctly. I have to pray according to the scriptures as well. Jy weet, ek onthoud ons kinders van self en Therese en onthoud, jylle het amal hierdie trik al gedraai. Dan gaan ons dan my pa toe en sê, pa, ma, ek sê, so kijk met jou, met haar as ons gaan swem, dat sê pa. Hallo, ken jy daar? Sê, die oma gevraag, ja, sê, sê, so raad, sê nou. En dan bestaan jy, toe sê my pa, hier kom jy goed hier by mekaar, en die oma raas met my, en die laat ons mee. Toe kom my laat achter, ons het nooit vir ma gevraag, en ons het net so gesê. Oftentimes, you know, don't try to abuse God's word. But when you do it with a pure heart, out of faith, Ek geloof dat hierdie jaar die Heere mense gaan ontmoet wat in geweldige druk gaan bestaan. You know, as you pray by faith, because you are saved and you believe in Christ, your life will make an impact. Jy is geroep om een impact te maak. Jou lewe, Jesus sê, die wat in my geloof in hierdie wonder teken sal hulle vol. Dis boek van Marcus 16 vers 17. Those who believe in me, these signs will follow those who believe in me. Your life has to carry something from God. Hoor mooi, they will write out demons, they will speak in new tongues. Die volgende gedeelte vers 18 sê, they will pick up snakes with their bare hands, and even if they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. And they will place their hands on sick people, and they will be. I believe that we will see, ek gloor dat in hierdie jaar, terwijl ek op die Heere wacht, ervaar ek dat die Heere sê, hy gaan sy grootheid en heerlijkheid dier jou lewe, aan jou mense, jou familie, en jou huisweis. Because you believe in Him. I can speak a lot about the coming year, there's a lot of the prophetic words we have received from God and, and so on, I'll rather post it online. But the point is this, even if the whole world goes into crisis, we can know from the team plot, that when the whole Egypt and chaos was, was there over Israel. Not one of the plot had the house of the Jews and the Jews and the Jews. The whole of the Jews. When the Jews were in the house of the Egypt and the Jews, there was no para in the house of Israel, of the mosquitoes. Die water het om bloed verander het. Die diere wat gevrek het. And I believe that you and I by faith need to receive that the Lord is with me. And he will show himself over my home. And I will be able to do extraordinary things for God. Hier gaan my leven gebruik. Hier gaan jou gebruik. Ek gaan vir die moest. Can you encourage him? God will use you. He wants to use you. You see, when Jesus here in words say that you are so great to work as they do, and then Jesus here in sickness, gesund gemaakt, 
Hij die melaatses genees en skoon gemaakt. Hij het die verlandes aangeraak. Met de woord het hulle opgestaan. Hij het die blindes laat sien. Die doof is dat doof. Die doof het opgeleid. En hij sê, jy sal hier die werk. Hij sê, hy het die storm stilgemaak met sy woorde. Soos ek gesê het, hy brood van Heder het waar ons gegeet. En hy sê, jy sal die selfde werk het. En ek geloof dat ons een generatie van gelovig is in ons land is. That there is a generation of believers in South Africa. And it doesn't matter where you are from. It doesn't matter what race or grouping you are in. But if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, He says, if you believe in me, you will do the works that I do. And Jesus is serious when he says that. And he invites us to do the same work. I believe that this coming year, a mighty work of God is starting across our nation and the nations of the world. While the governments, the very regerings and turmoil is, we will see the body of Jesus. Of course, he can't find the earth. So it's a bargain for luck to conceive. Because of what the Lord's going to do in my life. I believe in 2022 that much that was destroyed by the enemy in the last two years of COVID will be restored and rebounded by, by God. That it's a season of restoration. But restoration for mense bezig hier in gesinne, that God is restoring what the enemy has stolen. But I believe we need to take it by faith. Ons moet een geloof in ons harte ontvang. As we step out and prepare for this coming year, we will see a great stride and change in our politics. Ons het uh, met die, die Godse groep het geprofiteer dat the key word for this year, the sleutel word for hierdie jaar in the municipal verkiesing gaan coalities wees. And you know that was the key word. Let me tell you, we will see in the next year, in the next few years, a great change in government policies. Where it was staunch and harsh to its people, it will soften much. Why? Because they are afraid to lose power. Our politics in our nation has been shaken. And there's been a group of people that's been benefited, and it's not a racial group, it's a group of political elite people. And it will be shaken in this coming year. And we will see a change in the hearts of our leaders. A change, a real chance to listen. We prophesy specifically that the land, our land will not be expropriated without compensation. And it happens that way. That act of, of, of parliamentary commission is shut down. It was voted out. I believe that in this coming year, if you are in agriculture, as yet, and what is agriculture? What do you we will see bumper crops in many areas and places with so much rain the prophetic warning for flooding for next year was a great one prepare correctly plant your little plant but most of all we are called to think back our work for the Lord. And the greatest mission of every believer, the greatest mission of every believer, is to live out our Lord's greatest command to fall. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The Great Commission has everything to do with loving your neighbor. Dat het alles te doen met om ons bieren lief te Jesus' laatste opdracht in Matthies 28 is, gaan dan en verkondig die evangelie aan die ganse 
mens doen. En maak disciples van hulle, leer hulle om alles te onderhoud wat ek julle geleer het. En doop hulle die naam van die Vader en die Seen en die Heilige Geest. En ek is met julle. And lo, I am with you. Even to the very end of the age. Matthias 28 vers 9. Ek is met julle. And I believe our focus needs to change from me to us, to our neighborhoods. You know, when the Apostle Paul entered a city, to the Apostle Paulus in the start of the year, in the year 17, 18, 19, was there rumors in the whole city, the whole city had an uproar come over the evangelism that he had spoken. And I believe it's time to declare the gospel of Jesus. In your neighborhoods, in your town, in your community, in your school, it's a time to declare the gospel of Christ like never before. The dag van gelofte, you know what the covenant was that was made, is that we will be declaring the kingdom of God to Africa and the nations. The Lord is calling us to his commission. The great commission. And Jesus says, I will do great works in you. We find out of the work of the person of Harry Baker. Harry Baker was a woman whom God called when she was 16 years old, 16 years old. You know, when Jesus says, I will do, you will do greater works than I have, you know, Harry Baker's ministry raised 87 people from the dead. In Native Mozambique. 40 of them were murdered. Nine of them were shot. <laughs> More than 60 of them were five days in the morgue. And God raised them up. And if that's what God would do through a woman like Heidi Baker who says, I come from nowhere and I am nothing. Because I'm hunkered from Egyptian. Multiple times, he was in the and he gave it off here to tell. And the same thing starts, he was in the Boko Haram, the Muslim group in Mozambique. And he was in the Tain, 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 so that he was in the Tain, and he was in the Tain, and he was in the her beefrow, her neighbor, thought to bless her family and say, bring a bag with meatballs and spaghetti. But enough is for sex. And here come the beefrow and crop on the door. They say, I can put it in my hand to feel like I'm going to go to the house for the day, to your house and so on. So, and here's also a bit of meatballs and spaghetti. Here's some meatballs and spaghetti I made to bless you and your family. So they say, thank you so much. God said he would provide. And she invited the lady for supper. Die vrou die achtertijd instap, die is in 170 keer gast. Sy sê, 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 I only, there's only eight meatballs. <laughs> sê, it's more than enough. Will you help dish up? Sal jy help opskep? <laughs> Nie sal die vrou. Wat daar bakke meatballs is, begint die vrou in jylle. Sê, sê, denk, as sê, allemaal gaan nou wat proekie kry. En toe sê die eerste persoon vroeg opskip, toe skip sy so kwart die boekie. Toe sê Harry Baker, nie, nie, dit is nie genoeg nie. Maar die boek vol. En die staan nie kan nie met die skip leef, en as die skip, so kijk wat is die skip toe leef. Ach, wat is dit? En sy skip nog. En sy skip nog. And you know, 170 people ate, and the bowl was still good. God, the woman wrote a book called Two Fishes and Three Birds about that experience. I forget about the answers of tomorrow and then, oh yeah. I hope now, only you know God. When Jesus speaks about greater works, you know, when we look at the life of someone by the statue of Billy Graham. 
He spoke to more people than Jesus ever did. And he changed the world. God has to use you. I was at Billy Graham's uh, home in uh, North Carolina in the USA. He had a two years ring about that the DSA, the DSA Heist can learn and so on the Roman route. So you have to this. I got saved four times again. And you have to tell the video journey. I got saved again and again and again. And then the end of the sun also plaque for Gabet to give my view for the I was actually speaking at an event in North Carolina or two. And I had the privilege to meet him a year before his pass, two years before his pass. Let me say this to you. He was a, he was a, um, a dairy farmer, a milk groom, and one night he looked at the stars when he was 17 years old, and the Lord spoke to him and said, Billy, if you would believe me, I will lead you to speak to the nations. As much as the stars in the skies are the salvations that will come through your life. That night, in a community smaller than Viva, <laughs> he got saved. We have been Viva in all days, and we have been full of drivers at the back. God used it to change our world. Jesus says, I want to do great things in your life. Trust me. He who believes in me. And I can tell many stories of people's lives who believed God. And that the werkelijk gegroe. And that the word for the Heere gegroe as the waarheid for hulle. And they experienced it. And God is challenging you and me today. For 2022, believe me. Believe me that I have a good plan for you. Gloe my success. In Jeremia 29 verse 11. You have no angel nodig to say for you. The Lord said it clear. But I don't know what I have for you. Plannen. 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 In vrede te geven. Plans to prosper you. Say you mean what? Plan on your first good of the mark. That's God's thoughts. And not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And you know, even if you die, God is still preparing a place for you in heaven. It's also a bargain. Because his streets are paved with gold. Gaan op sunset is a street, as let's go down to the it's fake gold. It was a big scope, I go up. And he's, he builds. He says, he's building a place, he's preparing for you. I pray for me in your prayer. Even if we should die in the Lord, let us die there in faith. Al kom ek dan om, dan kom ek om in geloof. And so the Lord has prepared for me. A third, a derde van al die woorde oor Jesus' lewe, het slechts een vervulling gekom na sy dood. Life doesn't end with death. Let me tell you that my dad is part of the great cloud of witnesses watching as we enter into this next phase in the kingdom of God. So can we stand tonight as we come to the end of our service of our service? And I want you, I want you to know someone else, but as a believer, you know your mother, your brother, your kid, your nephew, your nephew, your friend, your family. Find someone else, and I want to pray with you. And I want you to pray with him. I want you to pray your victim. She doesn't destroy it. Suck him out. Suck him out. Dry on. Get up there. Get for you. Say, well, Tony, you like too much. Go. Have you heard the bet for now? Yeah. Come, come, come. I say, it, it's also okay. As long as he can pray. Amen. Yeah, come. We're going to pray. Father God, I trust you. I glue in you. I vertrouw in you. For 2022. That you will come. You will make my ass. And in the name of Jesus, I will see the wonders of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name.
Now pray a prayer of blessing yourself over there. Bid a gebed van van seer oor hulle vanaf. Kom, bid vir hulle. As you pray for others, God blesses you. Thank you, Father, that tonight we come together. We can declare that we will be blessed in our schools, God, in our health, Lord, in our families, God, that you will do extraordinary, powerful, mighty things in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Father. Amen. And as you know, and as you know, and now you are saying so. Last night, you last year, see you. Just wait. Okay. Some years ago, Nadia's brother was involved in a car accident. And he was actually declared by the doctor's brain dead. But they did of Nadia. And I remember me and Nadia's mom were in the hospital in Johannesburg. And there were the machine upset. And I think it was, it was 40 minutes before the machine upset. It was 12 minutes before the upset. 20 before 11 come I on. And I remember praying over her brother. When they declared him brain dead. And they began to skip. So he had a life to go And you know. The nurses came out of intensive care. They grabbed me and said, you need to leave, you need to leave, took us out. When we reached the ground floor, Stian woke up and asked for food. Let me tell you, God will do extraordinary things for you. It's in, and it's so in photo, we're more. Mooi. Whatever you ask in my name. We have family members, each one of us, that need God to do a breakthrough for them. Amen. Do you believe? I believe tonight. And I feel an unction. I feel an andere van die heilige geest. And ek en u vir familie lere bid vanaan. Wat rechtig die Heere nodig het. A deerbraak van die Heere nodig het. Really needs a breakthrough from God. Ursula, I actually feel God is speaking to you about your mom and about your brother. And that he's going to do an extraordinary thing in your family that you don't believe even. But God says he's going to answer prayers that's going to break can we maybe just with our husband or wife or family can we pray for that person in our family maybe one of your family members have gone through loss maybe one of your family members had gone through something really bad maybe one of them had gone through a divorce you know how heartbreaking it is sometimes the pain involved can we pray and in the name of Jesus, and in the name of Jesus, say the Yara, He will do what He asks. And I sense in my heart that the Lord is preparing you for great miracles, great breakthroughs. While the world will suffer, God's people will see His goodness. Can we take a moment and pray for our family? Thank you, Father. Ms. Kimetina, you. Mao Fa, Kum, a view of a song you can maybe turn with him. Run on a good song. Thank you, Father. We pray for our families. We pray for our home. We pray, God, for our kids. We pray, Lord, for our brothers, our sisters, God. And we call the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For those who grieve, for those, Lord, who want to be lost, yes. 
salvation deliverance healing thank you God thank you that you are God yes of course what you're seeing Born about the dear broken young. Thank you, Father. And if you are a family that have had loss, I see your family is for that. But the release from their life, the geliefde van van het drie jaar. I want to leave a verse with you that has been in my heart for the last few months, and it is this: Blessed are those who mourn. Gesien, dit is nie wat vreer, want hulle sal vertroos voor. And I speak comfort, vertroosting tot jou hart, that you will overcome the spirit of mourning. That you will overcome the mourning, the season of mourning, and be comforted by God. I speak to your heart now, for those families specifically, those watching online, for die, wat vanavond online kyk, and by dear verlies gang and gevangen, that the Lord is comforting you. God is bringing comfort right now within your heart. In Jesus' name. Can we stand as we shut the close of the service? Father God, I thank you in the name of Jesus that you say when we pray, when it all is an enough, it's for our Jesus, so it is for us too. And we know, yes, that we need to pray according to your word and your will. And so we pray, God, in Jesus' name, that every prayer be yes and amen, yes. according to your will. And Father, I thank you. And don't keep her, that your heart is with us. Yes. As we start a new year, a new season, even if we are a bit before time, we start with you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen and I do. Amen. You're all welcome to have a cup of coffee, tea, fellowship a bit together. We're going to play our clip, Yana's in his clip, yes, feel. And I really believe that to receive the word that God is doing a new thing for you today. Thank you, Yana. Thank you. Thank you.